A very blessed good morning. A warm welcome to each and every one on this Labor Day weekend. Wonderful residents, families, uh, people here. Uh, so good to see you today. Um, today, as always, it's still a TGIS Sunday. Let's try it. Thank God it's Sunday. And uh, God is good. I don't know what your week's been like, but our God is with us. He lifts us up. So as we worship today, He's going to pick us up so we can keep living for Jesus. Sound good? Amen. Let's join in our first hymn, Holy God, we praise Thy name. at the top of page three with our invocation. Lord, as we gather on this Labor Day weekend, this is the weekend you have made, and so we make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Let us go to our Lord, confident of his grace and mercy. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins to God our Father, asking Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. We take a moment of silence for self-examination.
Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. For those who believe in Jesus he, Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who began this good work in us bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We join in the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Let's pray. Loving Father, your love changes the human heart. Your grace has tr transformed us into loved and forgiven children of God. You alone are our shelter in the storms of life, our refuge and fortress, our God in whom we trust. As you conform us to the image of Christ, we reflect Jesus to others. Keep our eyes focused on Jesus as we live daily as your forgiven people. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to turn the page as we join in majesty and oh, how I love Jesus. Testament reading this morning comes from Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You, you will, will not fear the terror, the terror of, of the night, night nor, nor the, the arrow that flies, flies by day, day nor, nor the, the pestilence that stalks in darkness, darkness nor, nor the, the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Because you have made, made the, the Lord, Lord your dwelling place, place the Most High, I, who, is who is my refuge, refuge no evil, evil shall be allowed to befall you, you. No, no plague, plague come, come near, near your, your tent. tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all his ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. 
I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With, life, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. According to Mark, the seventh chapter. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. o Lord. And he called the people to him again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that is going into him that can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. And when, and when he, he had, had entered, entered the house and, and left, left the people, people his, his disciples asked him about, about the parable. And he, and he said, said to them, Then are you also without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot, cannot defile him, him? Since, since it enters, enters not his heart, but his stomach, stomach and, and is expelled. expelled. Thus, Thus he declared all foods clean. And he said, What comes out of a person is what defiles him. For from within, out of the heart of man, comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, coveting, wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please join our voices together in the confession of our common Christian faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us on Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by, by the prophets. prophets. And, and I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We invite you to turn the page 
And at the top of page nine, we join together and sing, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. join me in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for the truth that we just sang, you are a mighty fortress. 
And as we kind of wind down our series on the Old Testament verses, we thank you for Psalm 91, the one that that's just encourages us as Christians. It's timeless. So Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds to the truth of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Feel free to follow the outline on page 10 if you'd like to do so today. Um, Wow, we've been in uh, this series for 16 weeks. You made it! What are the odds? God's grace. Uh, And today we're going to look at Psalm 91, verse 1. I call it the Christians 911. You know, one of the part of our community is people always uh, often called 911. Someone needs help. Well, I came across some humorous 911s. A caller said, uh, they called in, dispatcher said, 911, is this a police? No, this is 911. Do you need police assistance? Oh, I didn't know how to call. Can you tell me how to cook a turkey? I've never cooked one before. Dispatcher said, uh, 911, what's the nature of your emergency? My wife is pregnant. Contractions two minutes apart. Dispatcher said, is this her first child? No, this is her husband. <laughs> you know, that's the humorous side of 911. But God's word is timeless, and Psalm 911 is the believer's 911. And uh, it's one of the top 50 passages for many Christians. I know it's very meaningful in the armed forces. So I encourage you on this Labor Day weekend to just kind of absorb the psalm we already read, Psalm 91. And verse 1 and 2 says, uh, Who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Now, the, the first thought is God's Word allows us to rest in hope. Now, I don't know what you think of, uh, but a lot of people's imaginations run wild. But God is a God of truth, and He reveals to us His character and nature by His names. And it's easy to miss, but there's four names God reveals Himself in this Scripture. Most High, Almighty, Lord, and God. Most High literally means possession. God owns everything. We're fearfully and wonderfully made, and we're part of His family. He Uh, And one of the words that describes this is we dwell in the shelter of the Most High. You know, a shelter uh, is soothing. It's a place we can hide from our enemies. You know, I I learned recently that uh, mosquito repellents don't actually repel. It blocks the sensors of the mosquito, so it kind of hides us from their bite. Now, it doesn't work on me. I don't know about you, but mm, not so good. But yeah, yeah. And then it goes on to say, uh, God is also a refuge, which means hope, shelter, or trust. And very tender images of God. It's kind of like a bird covering your young with soft wings. Or Verse 4 says, He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you'll find refuge. There was a forest fire in Yellowstone Park, And a a ranger found a bird petrified in ashes. It looked kind of unique. And so as he took a stick and knocked the ashes off, three little chicks scurried out from under the wings of the mother. And so this mother gave her life for her children. How much more so does Jesus Christ lay down his life for us under his wings? He's covered us in his blood he's washed and cleansed us he pronounced us uh, justified just as if we've never sinned righteous he he put a robe of his righteousness on us he loves us he's for us not against us Uh, the ultimate sacrifice Jesus Christ for you and me that's the ultimate reason we can rest in hope today because of Jesus uh, who possesses us as his children then Almighty literally means provision. Uh, God provides all that we need on this side of heaven. Let me uh, uh, run this by you. 
Uh, a couple of weeks, we're going to be, begin the, um, a new series called uh, The I Am Sayings of Jesus. First one, I am the bread of life. Uh, think about part of our daily bread is to handle the challenges life gives us. And so part of the bread is his provision, is strength, is provision, even when we're challenged the most. And that's why I love the word fortress. Uh, you know, um, it's, it's a sign of God's toughness. Uh, he's strong as steel. A mighty fortress is our God, a, a sword and shield victorious. Uh, what powerful truth. Uh, Martin Luther wrote in that great hymn, and it's a reminder uh, of uh, the, the power of God's shield in our life. Lord is God's ultimate name. Jehovah Yahweh means promise. It's uh, I am who I am. And it, it talks about in a world where there's values, morals, and laws constantly changing, we find stability. There's security in our unchanging God. How many uh, sometimes don't like change? You don't have to raise your hands at once. You know, other than that, that which is in your pocket. Change is hard, particularly as we age. That's why I love the hymn, Abide With Me. It says, change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changest not, abide with me. Our God will never change. Yeah, there, change, change is part of life, but we have security and stability, and that's a promise of God. All His promises are yes and amen. Most high, uh, He possesses us as His children. Almighty, He provides for us. Lord, Jehovah, Yahweh means I promise to be with you to the very end of the age. And God, Elohim, means power that nothing is impossible with God. We look sometimes at our world, maybe at our own life, things are impossible. Well, nothing's impossible with God. And His faithfulness pictures that which is trustworthy. God is very faithful. So, four powerful images of God, just in these two verses, the Christians 911, Psalm 99, verse 1. I'm going to share a true story with you of God's faithfulness, of how God works. Uh, during the Civil War, there was a Confederate soldier who was placed far out at the edge of the woods. And a strange fear came over him. He didn't have much peace. So in the middle of your notes, I put a song that he sang by Charles Wesley, Jesus, lover of my soul. And he sang the first verse. If you know it, sing it with me. If not, just listen. Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to your bosom fly. While the nearer waters roll, while the tempest is high. Hide, hide me, O my Savior, hide, till the storms of life is past. Safe into the haven guide, oh, receive my soul at last. So he sang this great hymn, The Peace of God Came Over Him. He didn't know why, but several years went by. He was at church, he's singing this great hymn in church. And then um, uh, following the service, a stranger came up to him and um, said, uh, I know we've never met but I've heard your voice before. Did you sing that song in the woods by any chance? Uh, were you a kind of a sentry? Oh, that was me. Well, the, man, the stranger said, me and my men, were, we were Union soldiers. We were hiding among the trees. We had our guns aimed at you. We're ready to fire. And then we heard you singing. You see, me also being a Christian, I said, don't shoot, don't shoot that man. Don't shoot him. We slipped away and left you. And he said, I'll never forget the voice I heard that night. Talk about being under the shelter, shelter of the wings of God. God shelters us, yes, in times of war. He shelters us in the aging process, in the normal routines of life. Jesus is our shelter, refuge, and fortress. In an honor of that soldier, in an honor of who we are in Christ, 
Let's sing verse 2 because it applies to us right now. Here we go. Other refuge have I none, hangs my helpless soul on Thee. Leave, ah, leave me not alone, still support and comfort me. All my trust on Thee is stayed, all my help from Thee I bring. Cover my defenseless head with the shadow of thy wing. Isn't that powerful? What a powerful truth God used this man of God to bless us even in the 21st century. That soldier in a time of war. And how much more so our God allows us to rest. He said, come to me, all who are weak and heavy laden, I'll give you what? Rest. Rest for our soul. His rest is here for you and me today. Then the second thought is just to relax in faith. Verse 5 says, You will not fear the terror of the night. What do you fear today? It was interesting, the, uh, researchers reported 30 years ago some of the greatest fears of grade school children. Number one was animals. Being in a dark room, high places, strangers, and loud noises. I wonder what they would fear today. Terrorism, disease, divorce, death, uh, who knows. But you know, for senior saints, you know what the number one fear is? Fear of falling. Fear of health, right? I know some of you are shaking your heads. It's fearful because my mom fell. And man, uh, woo. And that's what ultimately led her to go to home to heaven. But the, the fear of falling, it's, 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 it's real. There was a, a man who went to his doctor and, Lord, uh, Pat, or, uh, Doctor, I'm not feeling very good. And doctor examines him, leaves the room, comes back with uh, three different bottles of pills. Doctor said, take the green one with a big glass of water in the morning, take the blue with a big glass of water at lunch, and take the red right before your get, uh, bed. But the key is a big glass of water. Man's very fearful thinking something's wrong with so much medication. Doc, what is my problem? Doctor said, you're not drinking enough water. Now that's the, the lighter side of fear, isn't it? But someone said circumstances are like a mattress. If you're on the top, you can relax easy. But if you're underneath, you suffocate. Where are you today? Are you suffocating this morning? Or are you relaxing? Are you relaxing in faith? Are you relaxing in the trust or suffocating? Well, the good news is, wherever we are, God wants us to trust Him, to rest in His. So the verse 9 says, If you make the most high your dwelling, or uh, you know, it's a place we call home, the truth is, God has His home in our heart. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Christ in you, Christ in me, the hope of glory. It's not always easy to rest. It's not always easy to relax. It's a choice uh, we make by faith. But there's grace to trust Him. Um, verse 91, verse 14 and 16. I want to share it with you with my name because the relationship with Christ is so personal. It goes, because Chris loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue Chris. I will protect Chris, for Chris acknowledges my name. Chris will call upon me. I will answer Chris. I will be with Chris in trouble. I'll deliver Chris and honor Chris. With long life, I will satisfy Chris and show Chris my salvation. Isn't that powerful? When you remember Jesus is personal and he's with us, he wants us to trust him. So I want to just share a little snapshot of grace to trust God in my own life. Uh, we, we've moved several times in ministry we always had to trust God. That was the place He wanted us to be. But three times our house did not sell as we moved to the next location. And so it can leave you a little uneasy. God, are you going to provide? Well, of course. He's batting 100%. Every move in God's timing with the right person, we, we learned to trust God that He would indeed. And so we learned to relax in faith that our homes sold. Our last congregation, I was in congregational ministry 27 years, was in Minnesota. 
I think I know someone from Minnesota, uh, Deaconess Karen, uh, who's a good neighbor, by the way. Um, but, um, you know, uh, our congregation said, Pastor, we love you, but we can't support you any longer. And so we worked with the district president, and there was a large congregation that needed more space. So they became a multi-site of that congregation, and uh, there was no place for us. But God is a God of grace and mercy. They provided a little severance package for us. And there was one spot open in the spring to have an internship for CPE at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The odds of that spot being open weren't very good because they were always filled. One spot was open. God provided for us. Well, during that internship uh, in clinical pastoral education, I was a chaplain on mental health. Um, my dad was bipolar, and so God uh, helped me understand that world a little better. Uh, we tried to get back in the congregation, but always came in number two. Well, during that time, you know, uh, God still provided, but my wife got breast cancer. Our daughter was in Costa Rica on an internship. Things were a little, um, you know, uh, uneasy. <laughs> for a season, wondering, you know, what God was going to do with us. You know what? Right when the internship ended, there was an awareness of Lutheran Senior Services that this place in Springfield, Illinois, called the Concordia Village, needed a chaplain. So two of us went on site. I was one of two, and God very easily called us there. Boom, it just opened up. Been a chaplain now since 2014, it's amazing how God works. And then as we moved in January, my wife also cancer was treated, and so she was uh, eventually cancer-free, and my daughter returned safely from Costa Rica. And all that time we're trusting, God, give us your grace. God, give us your grace. We, we learn to trust Him in a, a greater dimension in our lives. Well, here's the challenge for you today. Memorize Psalm 91.1, if you don't know it by now. Reflect on the words of Jesus, lover of my soul, and allow those truths to sink in a little deeper in your life as you trust God for whatever you need to trust Him for. And so for our closing prayer, let's sing verse 3 of Jesus, lover of my soul. We sing, pray together. Thou, O Christ, are all I want. More than all in Thee I find. Raise the fallen, cheer the faint, heal the sick and lead the blind. Just and holy is Thy name, source of all true righteousness. Thou art evermore the same, Thou art full of truth and grace. And all God's people said, Amen. And amen. I invite you to turn the page for our prayers of the day. Um, I'm going to be on CTO next week. That's called Chaplain Time Off. So next Sunday, Pastor Dar uh, will be leading service. And of course, uh, Chaplain Corinne will be here during the week to support our dear family of faith and residents here. So uh, let us pray. Lord, as we come to your throne of grace, you have grace for us. As we've heard your word, you reminded us you're our shelter, our refuge, our fortress. Let your peace fill our hearts and minds. Lord, give us your rest. Help us to rest in hope and in faith as we trust you for our present moment and circumstances. You are so faithful. Encourage us this week, Lord, in your mercy. Lord, on this Labor Day weekend, uh, thank you for providing jobs, uh, jobs in the past, jobs in the present, the opportunity to work. And so we pray for the flourishing of art and music, science, technology. Uh, Those who need uh, provision, you will provide. You've been faithful. Continue to be so for our children and grandchildren. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Lord, in this election year, you have a plan. So we trust you and we rest in faith. Give grace to President Joe Biden and Governor Mike Parson and in this election process. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
And Lord, we thank you for those who have served you faithfully in the armed forces and are serving you now, first responders and many who lay down their life for us. We, we say thank you, Lord. Comfort them. Be with them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Thank you for the family of faith, uh, the body of Christ represented here. We pray you'd continue to um, use the people of God as light, as salt, in the midst of the darkness, the curse of sin. Use us, fill us with joy, so we continue to be a blessing in these days. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray a special blessing upon uh, our ED, Lynn Spriggs, and Adam Marles, our CEO. And Lord, we're so grateful for the, this, uh, the communities in Missouri, Illinois, and Pennsylvania called Lutheran Senior Services. It's a gift, your gift to us. May we not take it for granted. Lord, in your mercies, mercy. And we can, can you bring before you all those who are mourning loved ones, especially the family of Larry Connors, who entered his eternal rest this week, and uh, Robert Burns, the husband of Regina, uh, Regina and uh, Tom Plaza. Just continue to comfort these dear ones with your love, peace, and presence. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We especially pray uh, for many of our community who are transitioning to new levels of support. Give them a strength and grace during this time. For Merle Freitag's daughter, Ellie, who's uh, ca undergoing cancer treatment, we pray for extra blessing in her life. Marilyn Murr's brother, Jim, also has cancer. Our dear uh, staff person, Teresa Broche, a CNA for her personal health and just what a strong face she has, and just encourage her today. Joanne Her, her nephew, uh, Robert, has cancer. Nancy Keller's granddaughter, Shelley, recovering from surgery. And Andy Rochelsky, recovering from knee surgery. God, we just know you're faithful, and we pray your grace upon these loved ones. We prayed before you out loud and those who are in our heart. Now, as we come and receive the body and blood of Christ, empower us with your grace to know where you're loved and forgiven people, so we uh, may continue to live life to the full and be all that you've called us to be on this side of heaven. And whatever prayers in our heart, we pray the Lord, uh, the prayer you taught us to pray, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But I is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue with our Holy Communion with the invitation to the Lord's Supper to the tune of the Church's One Foundation. The Lord is with His people, now may He be with you. The Lord is with His servants, may He be with you too. We lift our hearts to praise Him, to God we lift them high. Tis right to praise and thank Him who to His world draws nigh. The Lord's Supper is for Christians, members of the body of Christ, who know they're sinners saved by grace through faith in Jesus alone. Do you believe the body and blood of Christ is present in, with, and under the bread and wine? I believe this bread is your body and this wine is your blood. Do you wish to receive the many blessings of this sacrament? I wish to receive forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and salvation. Open my heart to the truth of Jesus' words, poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim Christ's death until he comes. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the same night he was betrayed, took the bread. After giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this often to remember me. The same manner also after supper, he took the cup. After giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of it. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, given and shed for you 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this often to remember me. The peace, grace, and hope of our Lord Jesus be with you always. For our communion distribution this morning as we sing Lamb of God, we'll commune our communion team uh, when they're finished. We sing the hymns in the bulletin and invite you to come forward. Just put your palm out so we may place the host there. And the baskets are on the side for the cups. Uh, If you're not able to come forward, we'll come out to you. But please raise your hand. We don't want anyone to be missed. Or cross your arms for a blessing if you'd desire that. Everything is ready. Uh, Chaplain Corinne will be on the organ side today. I'll be on the uh, pulpit side or piano side as we call it. Um, Invite the communion team to come forward as we sing Lamb of God. you come forward. Tiffany has the body of Christ for you. Paul, the body of Christ for you. Bob, the body of Christ for you. You are all the body of Christ. Linda, the body of Christ. Extra birthday blessing.
need the body of Jesus for you. Larry, the body of Christ for you. Barbara, the body of Christ for you. Is the, the body of Jesus. Beth, the body of Christ. John, the body of Christ, the bread of life. Ray, the body of Christ for you. Jesus really loves you. May he bless you abundantly today. Maxine, we have the body and blood of Jesus for you. Oh, uh, no. 
Amen and amen. Continue our worship at the top of page 15. As you've received the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, know he is with you to the very end of the age. Greater is he who is in you, the one of the world. Go as his love, forgiven child of God. Amen. With joy we sing. Praise God from whom all blessings Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Together we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the wisdom of your word. We face many temptations and dangers on this side of heaven. Anchor our hearts in the knowledge of Jesus and his forgiving love. Give us grace to walk in the paths of your word daily. Root our days and our nights in the reality of our baptism. Grant us courage to face each day, knowing Jesus' presence is with us. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Anyone here would be able to transport our wonderful care center, care center residents back home. That would be appreciated. And you all have a blessed Labor Day uh, weekend. If families coming in, may it be a true blessing. We conclude with our benediction. The good Lord bless and keep you, lift up his smiling face. With favor look upon you and grant eternal peace. To Father, Son, and Spirit, most gracious one in three. The church sings alleluia, now and eternally. Onward, Christian soldiers marching as to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before Christ the royal master leads against the foe forward into battle see his banners go onward Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before crowns and thorns may perish kingdoms rise and wane but the church of Jesus constant will remain. Gates of hell can never answer prevail. We have Christ's own pride and cannot fail. 
onward Christian soldiers marching yes to war with the cross of Jesus going on before.